everyone, Jim Phoenix here. And by God, we're glad to have you in this year of our Lord, 2022. So glad you could be here. We've got some amazing guests lined up. And our very, very first show of 2022 is <sighs> guest starring J.M. Brannick, a.k.a. Box Human. And they're doing, actually doing the same movie Voodoo Priestess did. Which is really weird. It's the first time it's ever happened on our show to the same movies, I guess. You be the judge who did it better. But we've got the movies of I Was a Teenage Sentient Trash Heap. Eh, times two, I guess. And a Korean movie which loosely translates into Pussy Chunks for the title. All this and more on your next streaming news. Welcome back, y'all. Hey everyone, Jim Phoenix here, and my god, do we have a special, super duper welcome to 2022 Streaming Demons coming your way with myself, Jim Phoenix, and my forever co-host, Voodoo Priestess, say hello. Hey everyone. And our special guest, J.M. Brannick, a.k.a. Box Human, a.k.a. Awesome Sauce McGee, say hi. Uh, hi, that was, I don't think something's right here. Oh, it's just a brand new year, brand new everything. That's how we rock and roll. It's all good. And for the people who are brand new to our show, this, the premise is simple. We review a movie or TV show or something like that. Something old. Something borrowed, which would be a rental. Something new. Or something blue, which is sad. Boo, hoo, hoo. Aww. And since I am very, very lazy, we always let the special guest go first. So, Braddock, take it away. What's your movie? Okay. Well, so kind of surreal, like uh, like, like today and right now. Um, so this movie starts off with, like, the lovable loser type, you know, this nice guy who's got a heart of gold and kind of a bit quirky. And he's got it all. He's got a beautiful wife, good friends, lovely house. Deadpool? You're doing Deadpool. I'm not doing Deadpool. I, oh. No. Because if you were, you could tell us. It's no, It's actually not that, not as funny. Not nearly as funny. But he's got like a, a, a funny therapist, you know, cute cat, nice job where they don't expect really all that much out of him, you know. He doesn't have shit tons of ambition, but he's, like, happy enough, you know? And the kind of guy that goes out of his way to help people out and stuff like that. But, um, Oh, my gosh, it's a story of my life. It's me, uh... Who am I again? Voodoo uh, priest, Priestess. It's me. That's the story of my life. Papa that Shango. You're describing. Yes, Papa Shango. That, that's... Oh, wait. I'm Papa Shango. Okay, that's right. Uh, ha -ha. That's the story of my life you are describing, dear guest Braddock. So, are you watching the Dr. Pe uh, Papa Shango biography on t and &E? There's something seriously wrong here. No, um, no, this is really weird. But no, no, it's, it's not the Papa Shango movie. It's, um, well, anyway, you know. This is a good movie, by the way. I've seen it. You know, it is, a, it is a good it's, movie. So we got the screener from T&E, which we'll be reviewing later <laughs> Thank on. You, T &E. Thank you, T&E. Thank you, T&E. Thank you. Thank you, <laughs> Well, anyway, um, one day he wakes up, and he starts to notice little inconsistencies with his life, like super small changes at first with his friends and his wife and his house and his job and, like, his own body. And, like... As he begins to kind of like dig into it and kind of like notice them, they like pile on more and more and they even begin like threatening his own life and sanity. And as everything he ever had and ever, kn ever knew is like now in jeopardy without like a clear end in sight. And his life begins to morph into something just terrifying and something out of his control and it just never stops. And there's like a lot of heartache in this film, a lot of philosophy, a lot of like Jung and Nietzsche or Nietzsche or whatever. Really? And, is this a new one? Uh, 
yeah, it's brand new, brand spanking new. Whoa. What? What was the title again? Uh, I was a teenage sentient trash heap. I was. A, I know that is actually on my uh, watch list. I think that is that Amazon Prime. Uh, it's That's on Prime. Word. It's on Hulu. It's uh. Oh, we don't say the H word here. Oh, it's on Prime. It's on HBO Max. It's on uh TV. It's on. Dude, that, Detroit a- Tube. <laughs> Detroit Public Radio. Detroit Public Radio access. Um, and it's it's oh, it's cool. a lot like yeah, it's a lot like you know Joe meets like the Metamorphosis meets the Blob meets like Roller Gator. Are there any sharks? There is a shark in it. Yes. Oh, I had to be a damn shark. <laughs> I had to be a shark. Huh? There has there is a shark in it. Uh, but it's you know it has a lot of promise um but it's just a honestly it's a bummer movie right now like you watch it and you're just like wow that's a that's a bummer movie um but it has a possibly hopeful ending so i give it a one out of five cthulhu's wait one out of five it's a a hopeful ending yeah because it's a bummer of a fucking movie Wait, wait, wait! It it has a possibly hopeful ending. Possibly so hopeful you ending. Fucking, you didn't watch this film at all, did you? No, did I lived it. it. <laughs> you lived it. <laughs> I lived this. I told you, I Papa li- Shango. Oh, buddy, it's not Papa Shango. I was a, sent- a teenage sentient trash heap. It's it's beautiful. There's there's songs in it. <laughs> I, I love I, dancing. I to, okay, so I if I'm gonna check this out. So you were giving it like a 1.5 out of 4? Or out of 5, I mean? Uh, yeah, because, you know, it's just... These kinds of movies always hit hard, you know? I, you know me, I love the, the zany over the top. Yeah. The uh, the surf Nazis must die, if you Optimus will. Optimus Maximus. Yeah, yeah, just crazy-ass shit. And um, so when it gets kind of closer to home and it hits hard and when you see somebody and you see a lot of hurt in somebody that, you know, you can identify with, it right. sucks. And, yeah. um, you know, no matter what the ending is, it's like, you see, you see somebody in pain and that, that that's pretty much a bullshit artist, uh, move. Hey, and, I don't know what they're saying, but no one was inside of me. All right. Okay. Maybe that doctor that one time, but it was my, uh, wait, Pain? Who's this Dr. Pain guy? I must be a handsome devil. I heard so much about him. But Pain is not here, so let's keep it on the movie there. Box human, if that is your real name. I wouldn't say handsome devil. I would say devil. But I wouldn't devil, say handsome. Devil, I guess, I guess. So, okay. Um, Voodoo Priestess's interruptions aside. Yeah, she does interrupt a lot. You guys don't know. Hey, hey, hey. Guest, special guest. So, what is it? Okay, I know you like practical effects. Yeah. I know you like practical effects instead of, uh, you know, the, the CGI's. Is this yeah. a practical effect movie? Is it a CGI movie? What is it? Definitely practical effects. You know, and honestly, there's not a lot of effects. Um, no, it has some good blood work in it, um, oh. especially when his body begins changing. There's a lot of. Um, um, there's a lot of practical effects with that, and it's kind of like body horror, you know, meets also like uh, psychological oh, cool. horror, and wow. um, just kind of like trying to get grips on reality, and also trying to get grips on control over his own life, you know. That, that that's very cool. What's this movie called again? I was a teenage sentient trash heap. Wow. Yeah. Um. Mm-hmm. Uh, that, that's very cool. Okay, I'll have to check it out. Uh, thanks. Okay. And I'm not following that 1.5 stars. Yeah, yeah. Well, all right, we'll give it a two. A we'll two? A... Oh, then I'm definitely not following it too. Uh, the the mu- the the music was good. <laughs> two for good. The music was good. <laughs> uh, some practical effects, but yeah, it had a lot of uh, you know, like Radiohead and Amy Mann in it, so that was pretty good. I like that. That game was this from? Is this the blue, right? This is the blue, though, right? This is the blue. It's sad. Yeah. Amy, yeah. Amy, man, and you know, Radiohead are sad. 
Oh, I was thinking of Michael Mann, like Michael? from MTV or MTV. No, uh, no, Miami Amy Mann. Amy, Amy Mann. Man. Amy Mann. Amy Mann's are there. Although she she was also popular in the '90s, but she you know she just released a new album. I guess I'll plug her when we get to plugs. <laughs> well, maybe maybe that'd be kind of cool. So this is I was a human trash heap. I was it? a teenage sentient teenage, sentient trash heap. Trash heap. Okay. Yeah. I'm not following Amy, man. So, uh, Voodoo. Well, what do you got? Voodoo. What? Dude, that's you. Ah, 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 right. Ah, ah, well, Voodoo. Ah, ah, that's right. So, all right, Jimbo, I got this uh, movie called, uh, I guess it's the Blue. I, I was a teenage sentient trash heap. Uh, hey. Picture this. Is this movie about this? They got like a cat in it, and like a therapist, a zany therapist, and like a good guy, and a bad guy, and another person, and this other person, and uh, uh, the special effects are all, they're all right, they're all right, but the music, Jimbo, Jimbo, the music, it's got like Radiohead and Amy Mann, not to be confused with Michael Mann. Who the hell would do that? But Amy Man, which I believe Amy has a new album coming out, and maybe I'll plug that when it comes time for plugs. But, uh, you know, come to think of it, I'm pretty sure Box Human stole my fucking movie. How oh. very, very poor of them. I hear they steal a bunch of shit. I've seen some drawings that they put on the website, Jim. Jim, I've been drawing lines since I was a baby. Ha, uh, who draw lines first? That's right, Dr. Pat, uh, Voodoo Priestess drew lines first. And then this poser, Box Humor, came in and started drawing lines. And now all of a sudden, what? They're going to think that maybe they saw this movie first about an obviously, obviously someone living in a Detroit suburb because it's on Detroit Tube. It's got to be the only movie that I can pitch ever. And... There's there's some things wrong with it. Like maybe the ending will be okay, but who knows? I don't really like to say um, who cares, as Doctor Payne would say, because I'm actually Voodoo Priestess. Payne, if Payne was here, he would say who cares. But I, uh, me, Voodoo Priestess, give this film a uh, one point five Cthulhu's. Oh wait, wait, the music, two Cthulhu's, two Cthulhu's, just for the Amy. Radio Man music. Uh, I love that band, Amy Radio Man. They're they're from the '90s. They played some really hardcore, uh, sad musics. I think, yeah, jam on, yeah. I I think something's seriously wrong here. I really don't think that's Voodoo Priestess, Jim. Well, what do you What do you mean? Oh, and, 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 you know, not for nothing, uh, it's so weird that you accuse Voodoo, Voodoo Priestess of not being Voodoo Priestess, and yet, yet, Voodoo, I think this is just jealousy, from your Throwdown days, by the way, I, lo I looked into both of you, you used to be on a podcast called Throwdown with Voodoo Priestess, where you guys went at each other, that's right, Kimball, and I always won, and, see, it's Voodoo, and I realized that you... Honestly, maybe you didn't realize it, but you stole Voodoo Priestess's movie. Um, like, no. Almost word for word. Even the ratings were similar. I think it's interesting because I went first. And honestly, if you look at the website, too... There's a, you know, you look at Jam Brannick and it, it says a certain thing, you know, and then you look at a certain um, uh, Dr. Payne and you see it. That is awesome. It must be like solid gold on the website for Payne. And you see, you know, he kind of steals maybe a certain kind of uh, Jam Brannick's uh, bio. So, hey, uh, hey, hey, you know what? Uh, that's how jealous you sound right now, Brannick. That Payne's not even here to defend himself, and he would defend himself brilliantly. I might uh, twenty bucks. Okay, uh, very nicely he would defend himself because he's got all the words for twenty bucks. That you know, if you need to attack brutal, brutal priestess, voodoo priestess, <laughs> we did it. 
<laughs> Budo's right here. You're darn right I am. And uh that but I would I would defend Dr. Payne because I am Voodoo Priestess, aka Papa Shango. And you know, Payne's just an original. Pain came first. Think about it. Alphabet. D or B comes first. Exactly. Exactly. Ah. That's right. So they had their arm thing. If you look at this alleged website biography, it even says their favorite movie is Sky Sharks from Shit Surf Nazis. And that's now Brannock's favorite movie. Oh. Guess who's copy and pasting that devilishly handsome Dr. Payne? Ah. Uh, what do you say to that? I have no words, actually. I think uh, they... <laughs> they don't have the words. I didn't say them yet. That's why. I think the oh. safest game is the game that you don't play. So. Parcheesi. Uh... <laughs> we don't play Parcheesi here. I don't think that's what Brian meant, but okay. uh, yeah. So, so J- Jim, Jim, what was your movie? I'm still freaked out that you stole <laughs> pa- uh, Voodoo Priestess's movie. That's <laughs> so weird. Pain Voodoo Priestess, yeah, that's that's an interesting uh... Voodoo Pain Priestess movie. <laughs> I'm so this freaky. You guys did the same movie. No one else hears that. This is that freaky. That is. I still think that a certain somebody likes to copy a certain Brannock, and you know, I find that honestly, I find that a little bit flattering. I, I, I don't, you know what? I don't know what to say to this. And for those of you listening at home, we actually record this out of order because because the way my mind works, I go, I still go last, but Voodoo Priestess always has gone first. That's a lie. Always has gone first. That's and a then lie. <laughs> that is a lie. Give some, some time to like think about what they want to say, and Voodoo is just a professional, and they just keep going. And I'm not saying all Canadians scene. are liars. I'm just saying this Canadian is a liar. <laughs> oh no, no, ah, that's a dirty word. You don't throw the c word around here. You take that back. Oh, I don't. I don't think they meant it in a bad way. I think it's like, do what they said. You're Canadian. You, you don't take that shit laying down, do you? Uh, I guess you're right. No, I don't think they meant it in a bad way. But yeah, we, we actually, you know, maybe one day we'll release Streaming Demons live and can actually see and get proof positive who goes first and proof positive of someone maybe stealing. That's so weird. You did, did you just not have a movie? Was that what it was? You just like stealing? I like, think Voodoo's movie. What's going on here is that it's very cute. I get it. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm a a cool sentient box. You know, box human, and I am a cool sentient box. That's my actual name, Voodoo Box Priestess Human. You know, he just doesn't have an identity, and he's trying to find an identity, and I get that's, you know, I find it, like I said, flattering, in a way, annoying. I one of those for $100 yesterday. Annoying. And and hey, here's 100 You're like, all right. I never got the money. Hey, I'm just saying. Maybe you guys need to hash this out. I don't know. I don't know. I, I didn't, I, do we need to... Cut for commercial. We don't have commercials. We don't have to commercial the commercial the sponsors of the past. No, we don't have sponsors of the past. But you know what does Combo Box? <laughs> Combo Box has those. Mega that beer comes in a box too. Oh God! Beer. Beer? No. Mega that beer is the best beer ever. That Doctor Payne gave me some. It's awesome. Okay. Well. I thought you were actually going to sponsor by uh, Wayne Kresge's whiskey today. Well, you know, that Kresge, I had to beat the shit out of the great one. We went out legal damages still. Okay. Voodoo Priest has got, like, Wayne Gretzky to sponsor. I don't know. It was weird. So we thank you, Wayne Gretzky, for whiskey. And make enough beer. And make enough for beer, I guess. Uh, but, okay, so getting off track, my story, if you guys did the blue... Uh, I guess the same exact movie. I'm doing the new because what kind of rhymes? New and blue. So I, my, <laughs> for those of you who don't know, there is a 
unaired. I don't even know the name of the show anymore. Unaired something where I believe it was Payne and Brannick when they were friends doing a. They were friends. Well, you guys did like a pretty. You guys did some pretty good shows together. Uh, it was the Joanna Angel, Burning Angel, horror porn. Yeah. Way back I mean, when it never, we didn't never do that made. together. We did. We did not do that together. <laughs> okay, no, 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 no. That was smart. That one, Brannick. That uh, was a, a film he watched separately. I watched in separately at a different time. We talked about it briefly <laughs> in separate we rooms. For hours and hours. <laughs> separate rooms. On cam. No, 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 no. Wait. Uh, Payne talked about it for hours and hours. Yeah, we had, there was an adult in the room. <laughs> a young priest and an old priest, and that was just a movie. No, <laughs> it was, uh, so something along the lines, this one doesn't go, this is actually on uh, Amazon Prime. Oh, I, I believe, I mean, sometimes Amazon Prime and Shudder kind of go the same stream for me for some reason, because I guess you can have AMC Plus now. But... It is a horror adjacent. It's not quite uh, like porn, but it's not quite not. It's like the old knockoffs where they did the, the witch trials and they had like the lesbian scenes in there. It's kind of like that. But I'm it's called soft Pussy porn? Chunks. Yeah, it's, oh. it's, it's soft porn. It's called Pussy Chunks. <laughs> and if you've ever seen like Jaws or Teeth, what's that movie with the woman has like teeth and vagina? Teeth. That's oh, teeth. Oh. <laughs> Well, I guess it would be teeth, right? Oh, we got to talk about teeth at some point. I have major feels. It's kind of like that, but instead of teeth, it's just like white chunks. And the chunks, it might be toxic. I I get squeamish around it, so I don't know. So it's really weird. Is this a a foreign film? (laughs) This sounds like a foreign film. It's actually Korean. Yeah, okay. um, I honestly was watching Train to Busan on Tubi. That's what it was, it was which Tubi. is great. Train yeah, to Busan, awesome Korean flick on Train to Busan. Beautiful. I was watching it on Tubi, and I fell asleep at the end. And this is the movie that was playing after it. It's okay. like, oh, you like Train to Busan? You must like this also Korean horror called Pussy Chunks. And I'm not sure how Pussy Chunks translates into American. Maybe that is a translation. <laughs> Maybe not. But it, it looked like uh, like little chunks that came out, like Attack of the Killer Tomatoes, but it came out of the woman's vagina. Uh, and they were gobbling people. It was like part blob, part Attack of the Killer Tomatoes, and part, I guess, like like Massengill or something. I don't know. I don't even want to go there. It, no. It was, it was all subtitled. <laughs> so, oh, you hate subtitles. I know, but I didn't. I couldn't figure out what the... <laughs> I don't, to be, I don't know how to use your like your your controls, so I had to read. I had oh, to read. No, yeah, not yeah. that. Yeah, anything so but it, that. As the person who owns a a website of words, words and stuff. Well, that's why I do podcasts. <laughs> I don't do the reading part of the, the website. And it was sort of like okay, so. Far as I can understand, it was a Korean movie where this woman gets possessed after watching a video. The video has some sort of like rapping alligator or some shit. I was really fucking vague on this video they watched. So it's like almost like a ring reboot mixed with a bunch of other shit. And when she gets possessed, bad things happen. We're talking about just chunks coming out and killing people, just dismemberments. It's a lot of weird shit. And just for the weird shit alone, I, I loved it. I actually absolutely loved it. I didn't always understand. I don't think the translation is too well because if you ever watch a translated movie, even the, the English translation is not exactly it. So you, you have this heroine who's trying to then fight off her chunks. So she is actually the victim and also the like the prime mover, like the 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 victor of the heroine. I no spoilers, don't worry. This is all like first act stuff. And she's just trying to hunt down these chunks that came out of her before they infect someone else. And this is a whole wild thing. And 
spoiler alert, minor spoiler alert, right before Act 2, uh, guess where a secret weapon is? A, a penis? Doused in hand sanitizer. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Uh, yes! And you guys no. always get me shit about that. And gosh damn it, a movie is made from Korea, the new horror capital of the world, and the good woman, the good guy, whatever, starts beating the bad people up with a penis doused in hand sanitizer. Because that's the only thing that will kill pussy chunks. No! Yeah, it might be holy water, but I'm pretty sure it's hand sanitizer. <laughs> Again, subtitles are hard for me to read. So I don't have my glasses. Half yeah, no, and I I doubt you were reading half of them. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, so uh, practical effects. It, honestly, it was it was mostly practical effects. So you might have liked it. You might want to check it out. Uh, the music, I I, I Corey Haim. No. Was, yeah. Oh wait, which one's still alive? Is it Corey Feldman? Oh man. <laughs> Don't. Which one of the cores is still alive? Oh man, don't. Uh, it might be not, Feldman. Uh, all right, too soon, man. Too no, soon. No, no, Corey, Corey Feldman. No, he does the <laughs> he does the soundtrack. It was brilliant. He so does the soundtrack with his angels. Yeah. It was so, brilliant. what part of the movie was there? Any part of the movie that was too much for you that you were just like, I cannot deal with this? Uh. There are some times I, I kind of had to watch it with, with like, uh, be, between, you know, like, my fingers and stuff like that. And uh, it, it, for those who don't know, I am a germaphobe. And That's why we make so many hand sanitizer jokes. Yeah, I don't think they're jokes at some point. I think I just really... Yeah, I mean... Own stock and hand sanitizer. I think know. you do. Wait, what was it? The Wu-Tang Club? Wu Tang Clan, yes. Yeah, Wu Tang Clan. I used it Sorry. until it's all yeah, it's all done with, man. Oh, dirty uh, got clean with that shit. No, th there was a part, but it included. Uh, okay. Okay, it, it was kind of like '90s Bush. No, wait, not <laughs> '90s Bush. '90s Bush was '70s. Clean. '70s Bush. Thank you so much. But it had <laughs> like, well, besides the chunks. Okay, this is getting way too much, way too much, way too much, way too much. Way this is this is not for children. This yeah, podcast. Yeah, no, this is this is explicit. Fucking. This is explicit. not for adults. This is not for anyone. <laughs> Mom, stop wa listening right now. <laughs> well, okay. The basics of it all. The one that had me go like this. It, it, it is there's just one scene because she's battling allegedly stuff that came out of evil from the ring, like the videotape and stuff like that, the giant or whatever. Uh, the hair becomes sentient. The hair becomes sentient. And honestly, God, it, there's actually a period scene. Oh, of course there is. It applicates itself. What? It applicates no! Itself. Yes. yes. Yes, it was like a small gusher, and it had to stop. So, like, the, she's unconscious, and the hair like crawls, and, like it's like te uh, tendrils and stuff like that. Finds it and applicates, boom, and shoves it. Okay, yeah, was not this... even a diva cup. Was it? <laughs> it honestly, a diva cup. honestly, I would like to see the diva cup. <laughs> I, I think that I, I think the the Koreans should have done diva cup myself as well. But yeah, I, I think was, uh, the diva cup would have been great. But um. Was this, do you think, written or directed by a man? Maybe. And come to think of it, maybe that was just the commercial that Tubi was playing, too. Because I don't know. I mean, No, I'm pretty sure that wasn't part of the commercial. I think that was it. But, no. Uh, let me double check who, who wrote this. Let me see. Let me see if I can get this. Uh, well, it sounds like a man's name. Okay. Uh, the first name is Stephen, and the last name is Eaton, so Stephen Eaton. I don't know if that's their real name. And it, that's like, Korean? Yeah, uh, as I'm saying, it's maybe Korean. It's, maybe it's a mix. Like, it could maybe... Stephen Eaton. Maybe Korean Canada, I don't know. <laughs> Canada? Canada. <laughs> Canada horror. It, it, was in, it, was, it was allegedly subtitled in Korean. I don't know. I don't okay. know. But all in all, 
It sounds uh, like a practical joke somebody played on you. <laughs> might have been. It honestly might have been. And, and like she just goes through like a bunch of fucking guys. It, it's 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 almost like a Jennifer's body mixed in as well. Um, but all in all, I give this movie oh, a five God. out of five. No, <laughs> not five out of five. Four point nine five. Out of five. Mm-hmm. five yeah, out of five. yeah. It would have been a perfect five <laughs> if they use a diva cup. If they didn't use that fucking diva cup and Stephen Eaton, I don't know. But it's like a fucking bloody spot. I'm best, that's how periods work. There's like blood just gushes all over, I'm guessing. Yeah, probably. Yeah, like I, a spigot. Yeah, probably. Like yeah. like kind of like an artery just popping. Yeah. That's what I think, yeah. I, I think so. Yeah. I, I think so. I mean, so, like, that's what media has portrayed. Media, yeah. <laughs> So I give it a 4.95. It would have been a perfect 5 if they just use a Diva Cup. And uh, yeah, that's it. So, and now we come into our plugs. And I guess go first, J.M. Brannock, what do you want to plug? I guess I'm going to plug Amy Mann. No, oh, cool. Because <laughs> she's a, a great artist. Artist, I always love um, her, her whatever she puts out. Um, people will know her since um, Till Tuesday. That was the band in the 80s that she was with. Um, and, uh, she, I believe just put out a new album. Uh, hey, Jimbo, Voodoo Priest is here. I want, <coughs> I want to put out Amy Mann. Oh my God. Queens of Summertime Hotel. That's Son my of plug. a bitch. Yes. That's my plug. That's what I was looking up. Oh, well, is that, is that going to be your plug? Are you just copying Voodoo's plug now? I'm not are you, are you copying. plug? She's cop. I mean, he's cop. Whatever they're copying. The it is Queens of the Summer Hotel, and Dude, it's her okay. tenth album. Voodoo just plugged that. You understand that? They physically said it before you did. Are you sure you're not just like? It's okay. We're just copying them. I am not it's copying. Okay. They're copying me. Oh, I don't know. Sounds like a copy though. Um, okay, so that's what you guys both plug, I guess. And then I am going to plug Cornerstone Housing for Women. That's in Ottawa. Cornerstone, C-O-R-N-E-R-S-T-O-N-E, women, W-O-M-E-N, W-O-M-E-N, yeah, dot C-A. Uh, they're in Ottawa right now. They're being hit pretty heavy by the protesters because why be a douchebag when you be a huge fucking douchebag, I guess. And so any type of thing, if it's money, just plug them, write them nice emails. Some Amy, Amy Mann's new CD that apparently both people here fucking plug besides me. And it's really I'm good to sure, me. I'm pretty sure Amy Mann and uh, Cornerstone are both going, uh, so they had, uh, their movies were Pussy Chunks. <laughs> and I was a teenage cesspool. Uh, and somehow they connected those two movies with us. I, I just can't wait for the fucking <laughs> donation support right now. Uh, so what was the, the place called again? Cornerstone. It is in Ottawa. It is a housing for women. And it helps provide, you know, your donations help you find uh, emergency support shelter for one day is $84 Canadian. If you want to do some support or programming, $62 and $75 for just, just essential equipment. Especially during pandemic, yeah, you know, feed. It's hard to feed people. It's hard to keep people in a small, enclosed location during a pandemic, and it's you know, spousal abuse don't fucking stop because it's a pandemic. Oh God, it's probably even worse. Yeah, yeah, it's like the Super Bowl every all over again. Well, if you're gonna plug something nice, I guess I'll plug something nice too. Um. There's a thing called Fandom Trump's Hate, and that's going on right now. Um, basically, people can sign up to um, be bid on to do fan works, be it um, fan fiction, fan art, things like that. People can that's bid cool. on them. And basically, all of the bidding, all of the money goes to um, a list of progressive um, places. They could be LGBTQ, they could be uh, Black rights, they could be Native American rights, um, anti, um, 
uh, well, I mean, abortion rights, basically, um, women's rights, um, and basically everything that's anti, you know, people is not cool. So they're trying to do that. Yeah. So it's called Fandom Trump's Hate. Which um, is funny because it's a play on words. So you know that, right? Yeah, absolutely. Because it, that was Trump's hate. Yes, and and that was exactly why it was started. You could see read what it was all about. It was basically cool. giving back to, um, you know, the places that were being cut the most during a certain presidency, Couple and um, yeah, fucking Obama. Thanks, Obama. <laughs> Thanks, Obama. <laughs> Um, but basically, so, you know, you can go get some really cool shit, uh, of your favorite fandoms, um, whether it's Gundam Wing or, um, you know, Pussy Chunks or, um, (laughs) or, uh, you know, Surf Nazis Must Die. Um, you can go get some pretty cool stuff and, um, you know, donate to a lot of good causes and uh, I suggest you guys go check it out. Guys, gals, and everything uh-huh. in between. No, and that's called what again? Fandom Trump's Hate. Fandom Trump's... What was that? Oh, uh, Voodoo wants to... Yeah, so I want one more plug, too. Uh, oh, so my this fucking God. It's like <laughs> called the Fandom <coughs> Trump's Hate. Gotta check it out. Okay, bud. I think we will. That's awesome. Thanks very much. And, uh, all right... That that's our show. Uh, on behalf of myself, Jim Phoenix, my special guest, uh, my <laughs> human, and our forever co-host, Voodoo Priestess, bid you goodbye. Bye, everyone. Bye, bye. Bye. I hear a cat.